Good morning guys, uh, Rami here with your second stimulus check update and second stimulus package update for Tuesday, September 15th. We have some breaking good news out of the House of Representatives which came back from vacation yesterday and we might actually see a compromise bill as soon as sometime today or this week. This is this is huge because the expectation here is this will be a relatively large bill, probably not as high as $2 trillion, but high enough to have bipartisan provisions, including a second round of stimulus checks. This is great news and is really giving me hope, so stick with me here in this short video as I break down what is going on. I put several hours researching and editing these videos for you, and all I ask in return is for you to please hit the like button on the video. It really helps me out and it doesn't cost you anything. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so I can update you on everything regarding the second stimulus check and second stimulus package, plus more money and finance news. So yesterday, Secretary of Treasury Steve Mnuchin said on an interview on CNBC that he thinks the bill that was put out by the Republicans in the Senate does have things that are bipartisan and Democrats should like it, and also has some things that they feel different about it. But he's willing to negotiate with Nancy Pelosi anytime, and he's looking forward to a bill that is being put out by the Problem Solvers Caucus. If you don't know, the Problem Solvers Caucus is a group of 24 Democrats and 24 Republicans in the House, and they tend to always try to solve problems given the name, and, uh, and also work on a bipartisan basis. So this is great for what we can expect in this bill, and I'll get to that in a minute. But first, just so you know, this group of representatives have been talking for a while now and looking to put out a bill, but seems like they have been overshadowed by the negotiations happening between the leaders of both parties, and also we're waiting to see what comes out of the skinny bill that was the talk of the town for a few weeks and finally failed miserably. Last month, members of the Problem Solvers Caucus have said, obviously, we have to do a deal. Not to do anything is a disservice to the American people. The institution of Congress is better than that. And when talking about the fact that there are about 30 million people who are still unemployed and many small businesses are hurting badly from this economic downturn, they said, given these realities, that people are going to have to act. I think both sides realize that there's no other choice. We'll obviously have to find some sort of middle ground between all sides here, but I'm really optimistic that we will achieve it. So this is, this is great, especially that this reflects the thoughts of a significant number of representatives from both sides, Republicans and Democrats. So yeah, this is, this is really good news and I'm excited to see what they come up with and where it goes from there. But I think we can guess what a good, well-rounded stimulus package can include that both parties can easily agree to. First of all, a second stimulus check. The Democrats' Heroes Act had a stimulus check. The Republicans' Heels Act had a stimulus check. And President Trump definitely supports a second stimulus check, so much so that he wants to do it by executive order. So I think a second round of stimulus checks has to be in this new bill. Obviously, unemployment extension has to be there. As far as the amount, at this point, anything between $300 to $600 would do. Nothing more and nothing less, obviously. Um, $300 has been working okay now through the FEMA unemployment money. So I think those who are unemployed will be happy to get that $300 or more all the way until the end of the year and have some peace of mind instead of not knowing when this FEMA money will run out or if there will be more of it or not coming down. So guaranteeing that money until the end of the year would be great. There also has to be a second round of PPP money, I think. That program has been a hit with both sides and they even passed a standalone bill a couple of months ago to extend it. So that should be in there as well. Some form of rental assistance would be great. Food aid on top of what we currently have, which helps children 18 and younger until the end of the year. That's something the Democrats really want. Money for schools, testing, treatments, and vaccines is a must. Most likely money for the post office also. Now the tricky part will be money for state and local government and the liability protections. These are the two biggest partisan issues that are on the opposite extremes for both parties. So we'll have to see how the problem solvers solve this one. So yeah, I'm excited to see what happens with this. Let's hope and pray that the leaders on both sides, Nancy Pelosi and Mitch McConnell, open their minds to this and acknowledge that this coming from a bipartisan group of people 
and put helping the American people first instead of politics. The worry here that President Trump has expressed is that Nancy Pelosi will do anything in her power to not do a stimulus package before the elections because it might help President Trump get reelected. How do you guys feel about this? You think a stimulus package can actually sway some votes now? Would you be inclined to vote one way or another based on a stimulus package? Let me know all your thoughts about this in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit the like button, share this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and click that notifications bell to be notified whenever I publish new videos for you. And make sure to check the link in the description for the SoFi Money account, which is a checking slash savings account. It's not a stocks account or an investment account. If you open an account using the link below and deposit $500, you'll get a $50 bonus. Then you can refer your family and friends and anyone you know and get $50 from every referral up to $10,000 per year. So that's a great way to make some extra cash right there. Also, don't forget to get your free stock from Robinhood and one free stock from Webull, potentially worth up to $1,600 when you deposit only $100, which is just like cash. You can take it out anytime you feel like it. All the links are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for your support. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video.